Thanks for coming. How's it going, Burbank? Am I saying that right? I live around the corner in Burbank. I love it here in Burbank. I've been here two months, I've seen three black people. Uh, two of them were comedians at this club, so... Very diverse community here in Burbank. Good hiking here in Burbank, though. You guys do the Burbank hiking? It's awesome. It's a great workout. You started the Burlington Coat Factory. The Buffalo Wild Wings, and then boom! You're in a coma. Alright, because it's really boring here. Do you guys, do I, do I look familiar to you? I've been on television for a total of seven minutes over the past 14 years. My mother is very excited that I went to law school in the 90s. Excuse me, the 80s. God, I'm old. Thanks for helping me out with the demographics of middle-aged folks. Thanks for coming in, by the way. I appreciate it. Somebody just said they're old. They're not middle-aged. Did you just say that? No, I said you're calling them old. All right. So I'm the dick. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Right? It's a young town. This is a young fucking town. I, everywhere I go, I feel like Ben Stiller and Greenberg in this goddamn town. One guy saw the movie, that's right. It's terrible. I feel old here in this town. I was offered a senior citizen discount. You believe that bullshit? I was buying shoes, right? I'm in a shoe store. Okay, granted they were orthopedic shoes, but I was buying shoes. And this little bitch says to me, uh, hey, you know, there's a 10% discount. She said there's a 10% discount for AARP. Yeah. It's the American Association of Retired Persons. I was like, first of all, fuck you. And second of all, I forgot my card. Can I still get the discount? So I'm actually 78 years old. I'm actually Benjamin Button, you shithead. I'll be 77 next week. And then I'll be a baby. Right. Drink up, people. That's another thing about getting older. Remember day drinking? Remember you drink during the day? When you were a youngster? Can't do that shit anymore. I had a beer uh, today, during the day. And I don't know if you know this, once you reach the age of 40, um, sunlight metabolizes the alcohol and turns it into crystal meth, because that's what happens. <laughs> Pretty sure I started with a Corona, I ended up with blue ice. My teeth fell out, and I got a job at Walmart. <laughs> that's apparently what happens. But I have been on television a total of seven minutes over the past 14 years. But I got recognized, I was in New York City. Um, I got recognized, I was in a department store, and the security guard, this woman, she was kind of heavy set, not really relevant, but... She was a big lady, and uh, she was, uh, she's pointing at me, coming towards me. She was African-American or Latina, one of those. And um, <laughs> she's like pointing at me and smiling, right? And I'm thinking, you know, game on, right? And she goes, yo, I seen you. That's what she said, yo, I seen you. And I'm like, what, is she talking to me? Right? And then I realized, oh, maybe she saw me do whatever, right? It's not important. And uh, she goes, where I seen you? And I'm all cocky, right? It totally went to my head. I was like, uh, you know, I, uh, I've been around. That's what I said, like a dick. I was like, I've been around. She goes, I know where I seen you. The Eagle. Okay, that's a gay leather bar on 11th Avenue and 29th Street. 28th. 28th or 29th? Sure. Um, I don't know either. And my question is, what the hell was she doing there, first of all? And how did she recognize me without the leather hood? That is my question. I'm not a leather hood guy, I'll tell you why. Glasses, right? <laughs> what do you do with the hood? You wear them under the glasses? Over the glasses? Get, uh... Prescription leather hood, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You bought those glasses. So, uh, yeah. Let me ask you this question. I'll ask her this question. It's a little personal. But do you keep them on uh, during lovemaking? No. Yeah, because then it's easier to pretend that you're with somebody else, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not you, sir. I didn't mean you. <laughs> I keep my glasses on during sex because I like to see what I'm paying for. So. <laughs> I mean, you know, because dinner and a movie, that's all I meant. I did not mean that I paid $75 for a massage. I don't mean that in Eagle Rock. <laughs> I like your glasses, though, right? I'm, you get older, they get minus so fucking thick. These are just like minus 11. That's crazy, right? The next prescription is a Golden Retriever. That's what I get next. <laughs> Seriously, these are... Uh, these are made by Hubble. That's how thick they are. I went to Griffith Observatory. People were lining up behind me. That's... The worst part about wearing glasses, and back me up uh, on this, is when you go to like a strip bar, right? And you, get that, you, right? you get the lap dance. You know, you get the lap dance, right? This is what happens, right? The, the strippers, they give you a lap dance, and uh, they push the boobs into the face. You know, which is a delightful thing to do for another person. It's a really lovely thing to have happen to you. But now my glasses are covered with coconut oil. 
and glitter, I'm looking through like a kaleidoscope <laughs> type contraption. Or I've actually had this happen. The stripper will take off my glasses and put them on her and continue her little dance in front of me. Uh. Come on. <laughs> now I'm out $95. I can't see a goddamn thing. <laughs> I think she's in front of me. I think that's her ass in my face. I don't know. <laughs> Sitting there having a panic attack. Somebody has stolen my glasses. I am a single guy. Um, no, that's too weak a word. I'm alone. That's the point of trying to make. I, uh, I believe in soulmates. I know that my soulmate is out there. It is just a matter of finding the right website. <laughs> now that she is out there, I can't tolerate the. I can't do it anymore. The online dating. I've tried and failed on every single one of them. Every single one. I tried uh, Christian Mingle, I'm a Jew, they wanted nothing to do with me. I tried J-Date, I'm a Jew, they wanted nothing to do with me. I tried meeting tall chicks, went on Amazon.com, that did not work. The last one I did, eHarmony, that was the worst one ever. Come on, you gotta answer 500 questions. I'm trying to get laid, not take the bar exam, thank you very much. Which is the worst. But here's the truth, we have to do that bullshit because nobody talks to anybody anymore, right? What happens if a guy, right, attractive women, what happens if a guy comes up to you on the street and starts talking to you? Let me rephrase that. What happens if I come up to you on the street and start talking? It's fucking weird, right? The wall goes up, end of conversation, doesn't matter what I say, right? I was in the mall today, a woman sneezed. I said, God bless you. She said, I'm not gonna fuck you. I was like, okay, then why'd you sneeze, right? Why would she? Hey, thanks, you guys. There's a lot more show. Thanks for coming out. Testing, ladies and gentlemen.